Hi friends, welcome to DIY Sensory. I'm Miss Jennifer. This week it has been extremely hot, so I thought I'd do something that might uh, help us cool down a little and give us a sensory break. So we are back in our sensory bins this week and in our bin I have ice. And I know we typically think of ice as something to cool off your drink, but it can also be a really fun sensory activity. So along with my ice, I have some cups of lukewarm room temperature water, nothing too crazy. Um, I have some uh, grippers so you can grip the ice. I have some paint brushes, some food coloring, and um, I have a baster. I would recommend eyedroppers if you have them or can get them. I didn't have any um, and ran out of time to grab them, so <laughs> I'm using my baster. So with this, you can do a bunch of different things. Um, you can take some of your water and soak it up and drop it into your ice to see what it does. So does it melt it right away? Does it make kind of a soup? What does it do? You can, like I said before, use your tongs to pick up the ice, which especially as it starts to um, melt, it's gonna get a little more tough because the ice is going to get more slippery. You can use your food dye to turn the ice different colors. And this one is fun to use with your paintbrushes too. So you can add in like a drop or two of color. And then you can use your paintbrush to paint the ice and turn the ice, the ice uh, different colors and see what it does in the water. And you can use you can use your different food colors and see if you can make different colors on the ice. Um, and this is great because as the ice starts to melt, you'll start to see the colors dilute a little bit and you can um, talk about color mixing and adding um, more colors for saturation and that kind of stuff. So you're kind of getting the science in there a little bit. And of course, you can talk about the properties of ice and being a solid and turning into a liquid as it melts. Um, and of course, being that it is food coloring and it's ice, if your child touches it or just put it in their mouth, um, it's okay. That being said, if you are using the paint brushes, of course you'll want to um, try either using like one of the food grade silicone brushes or something that hasn't touched paint before. Um, but really it's just a lot of fun to get in there and manipulate the ice and add some water in there. And it is just nice and cool and refreshing on a hot day like today. So enjoy, and uh, I hope you're able to keep cool in this weather. All right, bye friends, I'll see you next week.